Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about hairstyling, haircuts, and this is something which I haven't covered for actually a very long time. Um, it's something which is kind of fell towards the background where I've kept a style which is which I really, really like. However, it's something which I'm getting used to. It's becoming really, really familiar. When I go and get my hair cut, it's it's the same where I have the same refresh of my sides. And every now and again, I have the top of my hair cut. Um, it's something which you can fall into quite easily when you're getting used to a style. And that sort of rapport you have with whoever cuts your hair gets very used to how you have your hair. So it's kind of got to the stage where when I go for my hair cut now, it's the same lady who's always cut my hair. Um, I actually knew her from school. She's uh, around my age. So we have a very good rapport with how I like my hair. But it's getting to the point where I'm going, I'm sitting in the chair and I'm not even really being asked. She knows how I'm going to like my hair straight off. And it's kind of like, is it the same as last time? Yes, absolutely. Go straight in for it. But when I try to suggest something different, I kind of where I'm so comfortable with my style, I like to use different products. And because I've got that nice length now, it's getting to the point where nothing's actually changing, only apart from it just being refreshed. And it's got to the point where I would really like something a bit different, a bit more fresh. So, for example, I was looking or am looking rather for something very sort of sleek, very, very smart, trendy, quite cool something a bit different, a bit more fresher. And of course, I've got my hair in this style now, which I really, really like. The length of my hair is just touching my top lip. Um, the back of my hair is a bit shorter, but it's still very long. It's getting to the point now where I have to use a lot of product to style my hair and for it to stay in uh, and for it to stay in that style. Now, some shampoos and conditioners which I'm using for helping my hair, I don't have to use so much hair uh, styling products, but majority of the time for whatever style I'm looking for, I have to use a little bit more and it takes a little bit more time, which is not a problem. I really do like that and I'm really enjoying the style. But as of lately, lots of things, we're in 2020 now, lots of things have happened, lots of bad things have already happened. Hugest thing of all, I've lost my fairy best friend, my Alaskan Malamot, and that's really, really tough um, on a daily basis. That's really difficult. Things sort of going on in my own background health-wise are still not very good. In fact, they've took a turn for the worse, kind of, a lot of things going on there, but that's for another day. Um, and it's just made me feel really stuck, really quite bleak. And very, sometimes when I look in the mirror, I don't necessarily like what I see. And certainly sometimes just simple things as our hair can really make you feel happy, make you feeling really kind of fresh in mood and healthy and raring to go. Sometimes it just gives us that modern sleek look and even just feeling good about yourself. And hair has the power to do that. Um, so let's, let's have a look and, and talk about now what kind of things I've been thinking about. So, do you know, I I often go through this stage where I've had my hairstyle for, for the same for quite a while. Um, and I remember always once where it stands out in my mind. Um, and it always makes me laugh, actually. Um, it was a person at the time in my life who was cutting my hair. Um, they were a family friend. Um, I, I actually don't have no contact with them now. I just fell out of touch like we do throughout life. You meet people and you fall out of touch with them. And But this lady was very, very nice and she was very good at what she'd done. Um, but again, she got really used to how I was having my hair cut. Pretty similar, but possibly a little bit shorter. And I remember saying, a little bit bored. I want something a bit more fresher, a bit more trendier, a bit more smarter, a bit cool. Um, and she waited and then she looked at my hair. And you know that thing what hairdressers or hairdressers do or stylists do. They run their hands through your hair and sort of look and go. And, they think, and you think, hmm, what's happening? And then she looked at me in the mirror and she turned around and said, how about a perm? No. And as soon as that was told me, I was ready to walk out the door. I thought, no, no chance. And of course, some people might like that. I certainly would not like that at all. Um, just the worst idea ever for me personally. Absolutely the worst idea ever. Number one, um, a young man, I don't really want a style like that. I think that's a little bit on the edge of, I'm not sure, feminine. If I, if I offended anybody by that, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but for me, no, no, not at all. Um, a couple of things was, was suggested and different styles, but I just really switched off on the moment that was said to me. So that's a big no. Other things which I've had is shaving my hair off, having a short grade all over. I thought about it, you know, I thought about it. And I think it's probably going to be something I will try in the future. Po possibly not now, I have to admit, going from sort of my top lip to no hair at all would be quite a, quite a, quite a step. 
Um, but who knows? But then this is what was sort of suggested to me as well, because hair, finer textured hair, sits quite flat, and I'm finding that my hair is quite difficult to keep into a style. Having it cut into a bit so it supports itself, so there's like hidden structures underneath your hair which hold your hair up a little bit. I'm kind of going down the avenue where I kind of would like my hair to be a bit more choppy. I like my style, how I've got now, sort of up on one side, swooped over, but I'd like it shorter. So I'm kind of toying with the idea of having, um, sort of playing with the idea, whatever you want to call it, at having some about two, maybe two and a half inches cut off. Um, so reducing the length by about half. So instead of having it coming to my top lip, literally right on the top of my nose here, um, or maybe even a bit shorter. Growing up, I always had really short, sleek, spiky hair, really trendy, really cool. I have it off to the side, loads of shape, loads of sort of choppiness, and sometimes a bit of a sleek fringe um, off to the side. And it was really, really nice. And in fact, I'm going to upload a picture. So here you will see, which is one of my favourite shortcuts, um, and it's really, really nice. And I thought about going back to it, but I'm not so sure. Um, of course, I never wore hearing aids back then all the time. So that's another thing in the back of my mind, too. Then I even thought about having short at the back, short on the top, and then left a bit of a length in the front here, like as a side swooping sort of bit in the front here as a fringe. Not so sure. We will see. But I really fancy a change, and it's something which I'm probably going to push forward for. So my hair's really, really nice. I like the length. It's in really good condition at the moment. It's full. It's growing. But it's just... 2020 has not been a very good start at all. In fact, in my eyes at the moment, for losing my Alaskan Manimalt, my, my savvy dog, um, I don't really want to know the new year at the moment at all, so it's just ruined. Um, but you never know, that might well change. But I just thought a new hairstyle would really set things off, making you making me feel a bit better, to be honest with you. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so the next time you will be seeing me, I would have had my hair cut. I've booked an appointment um, with the lady who usually does my hair. And that's going to be it this afternoon. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. So we will be looking at a new style. So as you can see how I've got some nice texture going, but it's all one length. So I may throw some sort of choppiness in there, some texture, and get things going. Um, and we will see how it goes. As I say, I like my hair at the moment, but I just like a change. Make me feel a bit better. I don't like what I see in the mirror. Um, of course, that's something up here. But it always helps when you've got a, a really on-trend, nice, fresh, modern um, masculine haircut. Sometimes with uh, sort of longer length hair, it can, some of the styles can sort of tend when they sort of fall a bit flat and they haven't really got too much shape. It kind of makes me feel I want something a bit more smarter, a bit more sort of, a bit more sort of me, um, a bit more for my confidence. Um, and we're, I think we're coming away from that. Where my hair's sort of just left of an evening, it looks quite untidy um, when I've washed it and I haven't done anything with it or if I haven't felt too well. It's not me. I like it to look smart all the time. Um, so there, that's it pretty much. So as I say, next time you'll see me, we will have a completely different style. Um, but I can certainly categorically say it will not be a poem <laughs> at all. That's a horrible idea and it always stands on my mind. Absolutely hideous. But there we go. Um, so yeah, until next time, we will see you then. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.